is going on YouTube? And let me tell you, in regards to short form content compared to vlog style, wow, this feels such a refreshing feeling and whatnot. So, the point of this episode is that I'm a veteran that is going through business school, which is becoming a more and more popular type of transition program. And to, um, yeah, just, I'm gonna be vlogging my whole experience through that experience, and to be 100% honest with you, I kind of regret not starting when I was in the military, but it's okay though, I'm gonna pay it back this way. I got my regular content where we talk about um, transitioning veteran services, and I'm just gonna walk you through this, because it's a very lucrative type, uh, type of field. So, it's the summer before my MBA program at Rice. Just remember what I said in my previous video about MBA program. Concept of networking, and as I've said many and many times before, your network can literally determine your net worth. So depending on the school that you go to, the clubs that you join, the relationships that you build, and the community that you foster, it's gonna open up infinite opportunities during your MBA experience. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about two key words here, right? Consortium agreement, and what is that and why should you care? Well, this is something you can join in your MBA program if you're a minority, literally on the application. It says if you have any military experience or not. And I will link the description because it's a noble cause in my opinion. But it just furthers the advancement of ethnic inclusion and minorities in the business leadership and entrepreneur world. Uh, it was all started way back when, when somebody decided that there wasn't enough representation for minorities in the business world. And this has been a thing ever since. So they do something every year called the or called the orientation program or or OP, and essentially what that is is that you can secure a job before school, and you can build your network. So I'm, I'm going to let you know what all that is about, and we're going to get right to it. And it's held in Aurora, Colorado, this year, and that's important, right? Because now you get to actually meet people because it's think of COVID and all that other good stuff. But. I'm going to walk you through the full experience and we're going to have a good time this weekend but, but most importantly I'm going to show you probably watching a MBA veteran or somebody that wants to try and do this as a career field what this is all about and I can guarantee you that the connections that I'm going to make during it is probably people I'm going to stick with with the rest of my life so without further ado let's get to Aurora Colorado let's have a good time. Gaylord Resort over here in Colorado and guys this resort is really really nice but this is not the whole context of that episode that I kind of want to cover so kind of like the back theme is that we're learning how to sell ourselves here right and it may sound very cliche especially if you're a military dude like addressing all you guys we used to do this thing called briefs and all this where you can only say one thing at one time to a certain amount of people well, now, I think this is kind of universal. I see people like Gary Vaynerchuk and Elon Musk, they're always harping on this. So this is a chance to kind of practice what's called your pitch, right? So everybody has their own unique set of capabilities. And nobody's really a master what to do right off the bat. So I'm going to leave my pitch here on the screen. You can press pause or anything like that. But just keep in mind, a lot of stuff shouldn't really be scripted. But I'm going to learn a lot this weekend, especially... How this is a great opportunity kind of like a low threat environment but i think it's a powerful skill to be able to tell your story in the most minimal amount of time so I'm, i've never been the best at it but i'm sure that as the time's going in business school and the future fields that i and my classmates want to go into it's going to be an essential skill not just for business school but for life so what we're going to do i'm going to get acquainted with people uh we're going to go work out because I'm trying to stay committed, you know, consistency is key. It's better to be consistently good than occasionally great. And that goes with all my habits. So let's go and I'm going to show you what this immaculate place looks like. Okay, guys, so as expected or maybe not as expected, I won't be able to get to like the intricate career fairs and whatnot and a lot of the events, but it, it's okay. I'm going to work around the field of play per se, like we're in the NFL. But just a little bit of background on this program, there's going to be a lot of big name companies here to include 
and Microsoft, Procter & Gamble, Land O'Lakes, Danaher, uh, Deloitte, and the list goes on and on. So I'll fill, in, I'll fill you in more and more as I go. But guys, keep in mind if any of the companies appeal to you as all, this is a very close-knit community and a lot of the recruiters of the different career fields talk to each other. So this could be an option. If you want to get into any of these fields, keep a nice close-knit network because you never know when you're going to need them again. Okay, so now let's go get some filet mignon because your boy just got done losing like 18 pounds. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, guys, so especially to all my military folks talking here, right? So this is literally the most of, I've wore the same thing for five years straight. And honestly, I got I got to admit, like, I'm not doing half bad. So sometimes you just got to look the part. So for the next four days, I'm going to be in a suit. So you guys, um, as you guys know, on a lot of my other videos, I wear gym clothes a lot. But it's okay, though. you got to be a professional. So... While I wait for the filet mignon that I've been hyping up for the past five minutes, uh, I right here. Make, uh, make sure I've been hydrating throughout the day because me, me and a few people from a few other schools, we are going to go work out later tonight. And uh, yeah, I normally work out on Saturdays anyway, but you got to stay consistent, okay? So. Um, yeah, I'll let you know when spread comes in. Yeah. Alright guys, so we got some filet mignon. I'm just gonna, you're gonna see on the screen here, free workout meal, because that's exactly what that is. Alright, so, me and the boys are gonna go work out. Right after this is over. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, what's going on YouTube? So now we are at this really nice hotel gym. I was not expecting this. So we're gonna knock out a quick workout. So normally, obviously, I'm not at my regular gym, but we're just gonna do a combination of some muscular endurance and just staying fast with those type two. So workout as follows on the screen. I'm not really going to explain it too much, but 25 rounds of 20 kettlebell cleans. We're gonna go straight into some rows. We're gonna go straight into some dumbbell push-ups and then a quarter mile run in between each. So. Uh, you know, just staying, just staying focused, uh, not training too hard right now, but yeah, let's get to it. You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little Good morning YouTube, so I got my rice shirt, rice hat, and all this other good stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to check back in towards like the end of it every day and kind of let you know what's going on and how it can benefit you to doing this program. But like I said, I got to stay within the fields of play. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get the day started. Alright guys, so literally this is the most beautiful view of the Colorado mountains in the city of Aurora. And then honestly, I feel like I'm staying at Hogwarts right now. So, guys, like I said before, I'm going to try and stay within the field of play. But it was a long day today. And for those of my veteran uh, counterparts that are trying to be the NBA route, today was all about ethics and morals, right? And a lot of the people that were coming up and talking, they were talking about how we did have, have enough of what's called DEI, or diversity and inclusion in the workplace. And how people thought, you know, decades ago that it was unbelievable. But in the words of Matthew McConaughey, that's just one of those default words that you use when you can't believe that something's impossible. We, it's a, because unbelievable, it doesn't give justice to the awesomeness of a situation or the degradation of a situation. It's a... Well, and over the course of decades up to today, we're starting to get more and more of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. And, and that's just in all factors, banking, consulting, whatever, entrepreneurship. It's always beneficial to realize that you don't have a no tolerance for in, inequality and that you have a tolerance for equality. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say about today. It's just about the ethics and the morals. 
So going beyond the network and all the other things, I really hope that you join this because of those. But that's what I synthesize from today. But tomorrow we're going to be, you're gonna see me in a suit and tie. Me talking to a lot of the partner companies. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you more about know about how that process goes. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So all up in my suit and all that other good stuff. And I learned a good lesson today in brand management, right? You know, one, I'm a little bit behind the power curve on this one, but I didn't know that General Mills and Lucky Charms, they actually have these separate standalone uh, marshmallows in there. So that probably was a recent development, but it's pretty new to me. But one thing I learned about marketing today is that they have to be collaborative across all teams. It's not just making ads. You're like dealing with supply chains and all this other stuff. And that's what's cool about this event. You get to learn about various other different in industries so that's what i learned today talked a lot about dei diversion and inclusion and uh yeah just getting to network with different companies like you get a lot of high level companies that invite you to private breakfasts dinners events just kind of earn earn your trust and you earn their trust even we got to learn about the large entities of google and other places and uh yeah not much more to talk about today but Tomorrow's a job fair and I'll let you know how that goes and everything that goes behind it, but pretty good day so far. Let me tell you, I'm looking like a hot mess right now, but the school hat is very refreshing. Even though I look like I'm about to go draft uh, my draft picks for the NFL. But uh, yeah guys, so basically it's just been a pretty long day today. We had a career fair where, where a lot of the big companies were, you know, like Google, all the tech companies. Had a great chat with Nike, Apple, even smaller ones of all different industries and it's just a really good chance for you to practice to sell yourself and uh yeah at the end there's during the luncheon there's a really cool part right we were talking about majorities and minorities but it was just very empowering seeing that there's a lot of people that bought into the mission of diversity and inclusion D, uh, dei so it's just very empowering and uh yeah we're gonna hop on the playing tomorrow and I'm gonna give you guys a full recap but uh yeah let me tell you this Gaylord Hotel it's like apparently it's like the smallest of the chain it's got like 1500 rooms absolutely insane absolutely insane okay it is two days later we are at the gym had to just shake it off and get reset after a long but productive amount of 13 hour days okay so what I'm trying to get at here before I wrap up this episode is well, I'm just trying to get to that Casey Neistat level type of vlogging, just kind of walking my way through this NBA experience because as a lot of people know, the M the NBA route is starting to become a lot more popular for the military community because we satisfy a lot of the application minus the GMAT. And two, it's just another way to look out for veterans that are feeling a little bit lost after the service. And so with that being said, before I flip back to consortium, I'm just trying to get to that Casey Neistat type of vlogging and we're going to get there one day, one day at a time and then I'm hoping that other military members that go down this way kind of show their methods and their point of views in their various industries. I'll just give you one example, if you guys know who the dude uh, Marshall Plumley is, he used to play for Duke, spent some time in the NBA and now he's going to Duke to uh, Harvard's NBA program. So. You know, uh, U.S. Army represent, but at Consortium, I saw a lot of military as well. So I'm just going to kind of wrap up uh, what my final thoughts on the Consortium agreement is. You know, I totally believe that this is something worth pursuing, not only for the networking, but there is a huge disparity when it comes to diversity in the workforce. And I'm glad that somebody's standing up for it. And for anybody watching this video, yeah, I wasn't able to film a lot of it. But like I said, this is an enduring network, so you can always reference your brothers and sisters, just like you did in the army, or your brothers and sisters in arms. You just have a different culture here, and that's maintaining and inserting leadership into the business world. So 10 out of 10, 100%, and you'll get to learn a lot more about various industries. So guys, I'll do better next time, but you just gotta keep putting the days and days together. So I hope this gives you a little insight on the consortium agreement for any future veteran MBA candidate that comes through on my channel. So guys, as always, I will see you next time.